Hi everybody, welcome back to the Gallagher Shots YouTube channel. It is Newcastle United 2, Everton 1. Degger, say those famous words, mate. We won you now. Get in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, mate. I wasn't expecting this going into this game. Um, especially on the back of the performances that we've seen over the last couple of weeks. Um, but, but thoughts on that one, mate. It's, it's a Newcastle team that looked that were closing down players. The first which we, we might have seen this season. But, but mate, thoughts on that? Um, I thought it was a solid performance. If I'm honest, um, it wasn't. It's not one that's going to make DVDs. It's not going to, you know what I mean. It's not a wasn't a classic by any stretch. But I think, as I, I mentioned a few times to to I was watching it with, I said like at least we look solid. You know, they, they look organised. We looked hard to beat. Um, the first twenty minutes was very poor from both sides. Certainly, mm. actually being able to play football was pretty much non-existent. But in in fairness, in fairness. At least, well, at least we were trying to play, you know, we were passing it out through the back, we were trying to make things happen. Um, but kind of what you've said, really, I just think that at least it, we looked hard to beat and we looked comfortable, I thought, and I thought we deserved the win as well. Yeah, so so you mentioned that the, the first 20 minutes probably made the, the majority of the first half. The, the, the majority of the football is probably played by Everton in the centre of the pitch. Um, the, the struggle to break us down. But, but once again, we, we struggled to really hit them on the counter attack. There was obviously Wilson had that shot earlier on. Um, but other than that, it was it was a pretty, I wouldn't say poor game, but a game like like I've just said, which was played predominantly in the centre of the pitch. There, there wasn't many chances. I think there was one shot. Um, well, Saint, Saint, team, Saint had a huge chance. Um, maybe just after the half. Sorry, half, mate, that was the one. Sorry, not not the Wilson yeah. one. It was the same one where a great break. It, it's Almiron once again. This is why he's in the team. He picks yeah. that ball up in. I think it might actually be in our box. Then he yeah. drops his shoulder. He gets brought down, but he keep he keeps on running, mate. He keeps on running. He plays Wilson in on the left hand side. Then then obviously Wilson plays um, uh, Saint in. It's Saint shot. It's it's not the greatest. I um, can't really deny that straight out of the keeper. Yeah. But it, it was a, it was decent decent uh, play uh, from us. Oh, something well, which we, we, we this is what we've hoped for with, with those attacking players on the pitch. This is something which we wanted to see. Absolutely. Um, and and is it because Almi runs on the pitch? Is this why? Um. Well, you know I'm a massive fan of him, right? And, I, and I've, I've been very upset that he hasn't been playing recently. Um, there was a few times in the first half he was sprinting back, you know, really, really working hard for the team, you know what I mean? Doing things that, to be honest, when we signed him, I wasn't really expecting him to be that type of player, you know what I mean? But mm. obviously you, you quickly realise that that's what he's like, you know, he, he works so hard for the team. But mentioning the the, the, the the sort of passage of play you've said there, how many players really, honestly, would have collected the ball on the edge of our box and maybe just smashed it away? Yeah. But he had the bravery to try and even beat a man and then start off the counter-attack. And to go back to your point you mentioned, this is why we've been excited, because we do soak up pressure a lot. That's what we do. But mm -hmm. when you've got your Fraser, Saints, Wilson, Almiron, there's so much pace there. Um, you should be able to hurt teams on the break. Saints, yeah. I think, tried to chip the keeper, didn't he? Like a little dink over the top. Not, I mean, I'm not sure what yeah. he tried to do. Not sure he what he tried to do. It, he, he had another one of those games, saying, I would say, similar last week, where th this number 10 rule for him, this is not his role. Uh, and I'll say that now, definitely not his role, mate. He, he needs to be on one of the wings, um, putting fear in defender's eyes. That number 10 rule, he's wasted. I, I agree. I think um, the issue we've got is we've getting two good results with the way the team has been set up. Um by all means, the Wolves game was poor, but it was a good point. Um, we're not going to play with wingers, I don't think. And I think that's the that's the difficulty. I don't think he'll change formation in order to get the best out of Saint. Mm. But I do agree, number 10 rule doesn't seem to be working for him. Like. Yeah, yeah. So we'll go straight. Our goal came from a penalty. And <clears throat> so <laughs> is, is that a penalty? Is that a penalty? Well, is well, it a, a very clever play by Wilson? Yes, I, I'll, get, I'll say it's very clever from Wilson. I think... Um, have you seen his post-match interview? Oh, I haven't. No, sir. No, I haven't. So he, no. he basically says that. Basically, he tried his luck. Um, yeah, you he, could tell. You could tell the way he got up. You know, I don't know if you've seen his reaction. where He went oh, down, mate. obviously. As soon as the penalty got, got given, he's up. Yeah, he got up and he went, oh, well. Like, as if, oh, well, it worked. Um, so, in, in his interview after the game, he basically, obviously, I, I'm just putting this in my own terms, but he basically says that he thought, oh, I'll try me luck. I'm going to get him this defender. I hope he kicks us. <laughs> <laughs> this is what he said. <laughs> I love him, me. I love his attitude, me. He's put a little. He's just cocky as out, isn't he? Fucking um, right, tool rag, isn't he? <laughs> he is. I, I mean, if I if I'm being honest, right, watching all the football I've watched over the years, do you know what I mean? That isn't a penalty for me. Yeah. But the way the game's gone and the new rules, mm. it is a penalty because he's kicking him. But for me, the lad doesn't even know he's there. 
you know, he, he's got his eyes on the ball. He's just trying to clear the ball. But Wilson, as you've said, cleverly gets in front of him, which then makes he kicks he kicks so in. I, I said this. I said, but when when obviously the, the, the referee gives pretty quickly, to be honest, before he even yeah. goes to VAR, and I said, if, if Salah gets our penalty yesterday, then that's a penalty. It, yeah. It's very similar. It, it's it, it's probably harsh, but it's a penalty at the end of the day. If, if this is what they're given for now, yeah. you, you can't you can't look past that. But once again. Um, a great penalty made by yeah. Wilson. Um, obviously, the the Everton centre back tries to get in his head, and, and Wilson twats him in the stomach with the ball. Gets yeah. good for it. <laughs> yeah, it was good though. It was good. <laughs> Again, though, as well, v- VAR took a while, didn't it, to to look at that? So there was even more time. That was more mm. pressure for Wilson, I thought. Um, yeah. Because it seemed to be a lot before. If you think of when the referee actually gave the penalty. There was a lot of time between that and actually mm-hmm. him taking it, so he did very well. And he's so cool, isn't he? He's so cool. Mm-hmm. That's two he's took now, or maybe even three, but he's very, very cool. Like, mm-hmm. So obviously, um, just just a quick go through the rest. Longstaff had a chance not long after that. Absolutely fantastic play by us, mate. Yeah. One yeah. one touch football in the box, and it looked just just watching that it didn't look like Newcastle United. Great save by by the keeper. Hits off his knee, goes over. Yeah. Um, <laughs> then obviously Wilson gets a second. Um, we saw actually before we get on that one, we saw a reaction from. Saint gets taken off the pitch. He's not overly happy. Almiron gets taken off the pitch. He's absolutely furious. He's been taken yeah, off the pitch. Yeah. I've never met Steve Bruce's only man on this planet that has managed to make Almiron not smile. Yeah, you know, you're right. I mean, it's what you want your players to be, right? I've always said mm. that. You want them to be unhappy when they come off. But uh, I agree, he was furious. And I, yeah. I didn't really agree with the sub anyway. Um, by all means, bringing on Hayden's one thing, but I thought Hendrick would have been the person to swap with. Mm. Uh, certainly not Almiron because of the energy he gives you. But um, well, mate, Longstaff was blown out of his ass as well. Um, Longstaff got in decent yeah. position before and great, great ding over the top. And Longstaff was on the edge of the box and yeah. he was struggling to, to yeah. reach that ball. Um, and I thought then maybe it's a change, change that that Hayden for Longstaff. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll pretty soon. Now, but goal came second one went two 0 up. Uh, Wilson buries that one. It's similar. This is what you want from a striker. So we saw this in the cup game where Joe Linton let Murphy's ball bounce off the post thinking, oh, I'll be nice that that, yeah, yeah. that ball looks like it's going to go in the goal. Yeah. Fraser's shot was going in the goal, but obviously Wilson saw it. Saw that, I'm stealing it. Absolutely this is right. exactly what you want. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it, it, it goes back to the, um, when we beat Burnley, I think Saints, when he, Saints set them up, he's, he's almost on the line to tap it in. That goal there, he's yeah. right up with the, with the play. And he taps it in. And, and I agree, obviously, he could have let it go in, but I don't want him to do it. I want Wilson to score every single goal. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. I want him to be the number nine we want him to be. And it, I must admit, it was fantastically done by Fraser, though. Um, mm-hmm. Great, mate. He, he, he looked like absolute dynamite when he came in. Like, oh, he's, nice. Mate, yeah. he, he's running at a player, and you think he's not getting past him. And I don't know how. It's like he just ducks under the shoulder and under the armpit, and he's away. Like, he's so mental, fast. mate. Mental. So, he, honestly, I, I, he reminds us a lot of Bellamy, but um, mm. especially running out wide, running down the channels. He's He's a little stocky lad, but Christ, he can't half move. Yeah, um, yeah. And you know, it was. And again, I thought we deserved to be turning up. I honestly did. Mm-hmm. I'm no, not I saying agree. it was a classic performance. I just think we deserve to be in mm-hmm. front. So we'll touch on their goal, mate. Um, I've had a quick look on on social media there, and a lot of people are blaming Fernandez for this one. But mm-hmm. Fernandez, uh, Fernandez was up there with probably man of the match for me. Uh, yeah. Fernandez, Almir, and I would say because Fernandez. Yeah. He looked unstoppable at times. Like, yeah. um, but if if people haven't seen this yet, if you go back and look at their goal, Dolo clearly shouts for that ball uh-huh. and tells Fernandez to leave it because Fernandez does that with his arms and Dolo's on the ground with his arms and his hands on the the grass on the pitch waiting to collect that ball. Yeah. He's definitely got a shout from his goalkeeper there. That's told him to leave it, and, and I, I'm not blaming Fernandez for that one. The only the only time you could possibly blame Fernandez thinking. Ignore your goalkeeper and hit that out as far as possible. Hit it out for a corner. But if if he's getting a shout from his keeper, you have to leave it, don't you? I mean, I agree with what you're saying. That's uh, it's it's one of them where if he's getting a shout, I, I certainly agree with the Dolo point that he was on his knee, you know, arms out, ready to sort of take the ball in. Um, I suppose it's a good striking play for, from Calvert Lewin to similar what I saw from Wilson know, getting in between those players, yeah, getting in there. Um, but yeah, obviously. You could say Fernandez just has to clear his lines, but I agree. If he's getting a shout, well, he leaves it for the keeper. That's what the yeah. keeper's there for. The keeper has the best view of the game because he's he's seen all the play. So, mm. and it made it touchy towards the end, didn't it? It made it, it yeah, massively, massively, mate. Um, so, if you're putting a man of the match on this one, mate, we'll, we'll end on this one. Who's your man of the match today? Um, um, <laughs> well, it's very close between Almiron and Murphy, but I'm going to go with Almiron. 
Okay, so May, I was going to mention Murphy there because another great game by him. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic game. He looks like he's really coming in that position at right yeah. wing back. Definitely. Um, but for me, it, it's Almiron, mate. Has Almiron. to be. Yeah. Yeah. So good to have him back in the team, man. His energy, I just think his energy, I don't know, it, it, it must, uh, what's the word, like, feed off Enc- the rest of the players. Yeah. Like, I mean, encourage, must, encourage the rest encourage of the players. Encourage them, yeah, yeah. So, mm. But a great win, mate. Really good win, and to be, to, be, to be fair, the last two weeks we've gotten four points from two games. I didn't think we'd get any, mm. so I have to be happy, right? And what was all that about Pickford not starting? Yeah, well, <laughs> Ancelotti must think he's scared of just the seats, not the fans, just the, the stadium itself. So that was quite weird to drop him, like, and then because he actually said he's going to be back in goal next week. Strange, so strange, mate. That, and that and is obviously, just because it's us. Pickford, Pickford's reaction when, when Wilson yeah. buried that in, in that penalty. Yeah. Wasn't happy about that, so I'm not sure if, if Ancelotti's realised that St. James's Park is a, a ground which Jordan Pickford can cope with because the kid is absolutely wired. Yeah. What? But, but yeah. mate, like you said, absolutely fantastic three points for us. Yep. Um, great great performance, I would say, mate. Not, not fantastic, but solid performance. Mm-hmm. Something where we did look hard to break down. Um, I know, I know, Everton were missing a lot of key players, but yeah. still, likes of uh, Calvin Lewis and yeah, cool. we we'll, we'll, we'll looked half decent at times, mate. Not getting carried away, but it, it's a point, three points, which we weren't expecting to say the yeah. least, mate. Um, I would have took a point before the, the the very start of that game, but great, absolutely great, mate. Totally agree with you, mate. Right, what are you doing, mate? And I'll, I'll see you on Monday night. I'm gonna have my Sunday's dinner now. We're one, you know. Get in. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, mate. Take care.